I wanted something to change my life and change my world. This has done it. This is actually, <laughs> this is honestly right. This is, this is wicked. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am in Birmingham. I've been meaning to come here for ages. Really want to explore the city, really want to get to know the food scene. So a long time coming, really. In today's video, I'm going to try a sando for the very first time. There's a place called Gup Shop in Birmingham city centre that actually specialises in sando. So I thought, let's go check them out. They've become really popular over the lockdown. So without further ado, let's get ourselves to Gup Shop. Let's try a sando for the very first time. Actually in Birmingham with the family today. So they are the entourage the bodyguards for today. <laughs> Let's make our way to Gumshot. Um, like I said, not been here before, so I don't know where I'm going. I'm letting the family direct. Okay, so it's not in there because we've just left. We're still walking. Okay, so we found it. We kind of went back on ourselves because none of us can use Google Maps apparently, so. <laughs> Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do is I've ordered the food they give you a ticket number i've gone for a couple of sandos that i think sound good i've gone for like an authentic sort of katsu one which is quite popular in japan uh, and then i've gone for like a hot pepper hottie which is a little bit less traditional sounds really good but what i was going to say if you can hear that there's lots of work going on around here so i'm going to grab my sandos oh 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 i'm scattered but i got a um, a sweet one as well i got like a biscoff one that sounds amazing biscoff seems to be everywhere right now but yeah that sounds really really good so i'm going to grab the food soon as it's ready they give you a ticket i think they bring the food out to you i, I think i don't really know uh, once i've got the stuff i'm going to take it to somewhere quiet and then we'll start that review all right guys so got my sandals this has actually been recorded on the phone by my cousin so we're going to find this little park which is just down the road they do have seating but it's very busy so we're going to try and find like some grass and sort of start the review there let's make our way there now on the bench we found a little park so what I'm going to do guys, a little bit of an informal review because we're not sat down somewhere. I'm just kind of just going to go into things. It's kind of unplanned really, but I'm just going to show you everything I've got and then go from there really. So I quite like the uh, packaging. I'm not sure what cooler means, but I like it. Let's just tuck straight into it. Ooh, this is actually the Biscoff. Okay, so this is with the shokapan bread. Everything there is shokapan bread, which is a Japanese bread. It's like a milk bread. I'm expecting something soft, like a like a like a pillow, I want something super soft. But I've not had it before, so no idea what to expect. If cameraman can just give these guys a quick shot of that, that looks fantastic, I think. I'm loving just the look of that. That looks great. Um, what I'll do, because that's sweet, I think I'll start with like savory stuff first. Guys, right, so I'm gonna start with the authentic, the more traditional sandwich. This is when you like Google and you YouTube sandwich. This often is what comes up. So katsu, which I think translates to cutlet. I was going to go to Japan like a year ago and I did loads of research. I think that's what that means. But essentially, it's a breaded piece of chicken. It's in the actual uh, bread itself. So I'm going to kind of rip it apart and just show you guys what we're working with. I can tell already it's like super soft. Just holding it, it's really, really soft, which is kind of what I wanted, kind of what I expected. But uh, it's got some cabbage in there and it's got a couple of sauces. So let's try it. The bread is like nothing I've had before. It's like fluffy. It's like a pillow. It's like a dense cloud. <laughs> the sauces are fantastic. That is an absolutely delicious sandwich. I think what I would do, put a little bit more chicken in. I think the chicken bit needs to be bigger just to get the bread to meat ratio down. Really tasty. I think the meat ratio could be slightly better. I think slightly more uh, meat for sure. Okay, so the next one is the... Oh, no, I've got the wrong one. That's dessert. Haha, here we go. Next one is called the... This is a hottie, which is still the same bread. But I think what they do is they actually put a bit of butter on it and actually put it on the griddle, which sounds amazing. Kind of like a tully bread, if you guys have had that. If you know, you know. This is the hot pepper chicken one. Oh, that looks good. There's more meat in that. So if you guys get a good look at that, I think that looks pretty darn good to me. This is probably less authentic, I would say, but that's good. I like fusion. I like change. I like changing things for the better. So why not? I like a little bit of experimentation. That's the hey man. That's the hey man. That is absolutely delicious. My cameraman today is actually my cousin, my brother, Haydar. He's gonna try this as soon as I, I finish this segment. He needs to try, he needs to try this. This is like, I wanted something to change my life and change my world. This has done it. This is actually, 
<laughs> this is honestly right, this is, this is wicked. You guys have to try this. This is amazing. The meat, fantastic. They've got some sauces in there, some cheese. I like that they've actually griddled the sandwich. It gives it a bit of texture. Whilst I like the softness of the shaki pan, putting a little bit of butter and actually putting it on a griddle just gives it a little bit of bite, a little bit of texture. Amazing. Generally, sandos are room temperature. They're not hot like that, but yeah, I like their creativity. I like that little bit of their own touch. You get something traditional, classic, and you add something to yourself, like of your own, like a bit of creativity. I like that. You never need to get a toasty from Costa ever, ever again. Just get that. Right, next one. This is gonna be, I can already tell, this is gonna be a flavor bomb. Firstly, look at the thickness of that. Look at the thickness. That's absolutely massive. They've got a ton of Biscoff. And I hope the actual bread itself takes a bit of the biscuit and it kind of seeps through. That looks great. That looks really good. That is what. That is one of the best biscoff desserts I've had in my life. Hey, man. Hey, man. That is so, it's so simple, it's so good. It's the bread that makes it. It's all made in house. They make it there in the traditional way. It's a milk bread. It's got a really nice fluffiness to it. The actual Biscoff goes really well with it. I think they're actually better warm. So this is a warm dish, as was the hotty, obviously. I think that lends itself to a really good dish, the shaka pan bread, when you actually warm it up, rather than like the traditional sort of the cold one. This, guys, is oh, unreal. If you like Biscoff and you're human, you need to try this absolutely delicious. Guys, if you're in Birmingham, if you're visiting, or if you just you live here, this is an absolute must. It looks like a lot of Biscoff, but honestly, there's so much bread, the ratio is absolutely perfect. This is an absolute must. You need, you need to try this for sure. If you're visiting, if you're nearby, get this, get this, get this. Let me know what you think. All right, so I am loving my little food tour of Birmingham. I've actually come here today. This is the first visit to Birmingham for a good couple of years, ever since I started the channel. And I'm actually just recording a load of stuff. So I'm like batch recording. This place was so good, man. Like this is, I've never had anything like this before. I've never had shaka pan bread. That was just, ah. Oh. If you guys know anywhere that does stuff like this in Manchester or near my end, please let me know. If not, I'm just gonna have to like move to Birmingham. <laughs> so yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend that place. If you like this kind of content, you like these kind of videos, I've got a ton on my channel, so do check them out. Like, because that helps me, um, helps YouTube, or helps me to help you. It helps me by telling YouTube, sorry, I normally do this in one take, so my brain is just, I've got Biscoff head right now. Uh, I'm not thinking straight, so <laughs> like this video, it'll give me some exposure onto YouTube. And if you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe because then that way, when I do release something, it goes into your subscription box. But guys, that does take me to the end of my video. If you wanna see more content, there should be a box somewhere on the screen. Click on that, that will take you to another video. But other than that, guys, that takes me right until the end. See you in the next one. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, 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 bye.